What's going on, everybody? Um, I just wanted to uh, take a minute to catch everybody up to speed. If maybe they not, if you're not in tune with what's going on in uh, Asia right now, um, and a lot of cities there. Um, and if you don't know, Asia is like uh, has 59 percent of the world's population. They have uh, over a little over seven billion citizens around across asia okay um as i said they they're they're 59 percent of the world's population uh and and in, in the u.s we have like 329 uh let's just say 330 million people in the united states so you figure that you know and uh asia their cities are large like tokyo has uh their population in their cities are huge like tokyo has uh 30 uh 37 million people that's a lot of people and you have delhi uh that's right behind them they have uh 30 million people and then you have uh shanghai uh i believe they're at like uh 27 million people and that's just that, you know, so a lot of their cities are way larger. Our larger city, our largest city in the United States is uh, New York with 19, you know, million people and everyone thought that's a lot. So you can imagine. So you, you have people on top of people, you know, uh, in, in, in cities across Asia, you know, um, so right now they're, they're 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 doing a lockdown because they have rising COVID cases, and um, so uh, they're they're not allowed to come out their homes. They're not allowed to open their windows. Uh, their sources and people are saying uh, that are there that that are living there. You have people saying that um, drones are flying around daily, you know, all day, making sure no one is coming out the house. Um, and God forbid if if anyone. Uh, 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 test positive for COVID, they're dragging you out of your home. Uh, people, uh, it was sources and people saying that they were even separated from their children. Um, you know, and, um, and some may have to get bused to further, uh, further cities, farther away from where they are. Um, because they're due to, uh, they, they're not having space in the hospitals or, uh, uh, secondary uh, locations they may have for COVID patients may be full, so you might have to go further. You know, um, there's also um, videos circulating where you have uh, 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 the residents in Shanghai, like in the buildings, you can just hear them yelling throughout the night. They're on their balconies yelling because they're like trapped in their homes and they can't come out. And, uh, to, 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 to get food, you know, um, they have to put orders in to get food. And so people are pretty much like joining together, like families are getting together, putting in orders. Cause if like one person puts in an order, you may not like, just say like I live alone or something, you know, and I put an order in for some food for the day or whatever. Um, I might not get the food because there's another family that may be four or five and the family, they're going to get served first. So what people are doing is families are banding together and putting orders in for food. And then that's how they're getting their food, uh, in their homes. Um, this, I say all that because, you know, you have so many people that'll say, Oh yeah, you know, um, what, 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 what do we, you know, some people may not care. You know, because they may feel, you may feel it doesn't affect you, but it will with them being 59% uh, of the world's population, they're producing many things that, you know, uh, that, that come into the United States and me being in the trucking industry, I know this, and it's also going to be hurting the trucking industry as far as at the ports, um, because, uh, a lot of goods are going to be slowed up because some people, you know, people there in Asia, uh, they're allowed to work from home, but there's nothing happening. Businesses haven't been open. So people have been locked down for 30 days. I w I've seen something uh, where they said, um, I forget what city it was. They were locked down. They've been locked down since March, 
you know, um, of this year, 2020. So this will, this will hurt our economy as well. Even it will further put a grip on our economy and, 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 and have the inflation in a chokehold for a while, because if things are not able to come in through the ports from, from, from Asia, you know, which a lot comes in from Asia on, on, on a daily, you know? Um, so if that puts a monkey grip on things, you know, uh, we're in, we're, 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 we're in for, and not only for us, the, the, the entire globe, you know, um, and not only that, you, you, you have, um, their government over in Asia, Asia, they're like, you know, in, uh, in Shanghai and everything. And they want a zero COVID. They want zero COVID cases. And you wonder, and you think like, you're not going to get zero cases when you have like your population. You have like, like I said, Tokyo has 37 million people, uh, uh, Shanghai having 27 million people, uh, uh, D Dali having, uh, 30 million people and it just go on and on and on, you know, um, it, it, you can't have a zero, you're not going to have a zero COVID cases with that many people. It's just, it's just, that's just, that's impossible. You know what I'm saying? It's impossible. But they're trying to, some sources are saying, you know, through different uh, media outlets, Al Jazeera, BBC, a lot of a lot of those um, publications, they go in depth about it a little more because, you know, they're actually their boots on the ground, you know. Um, and uh, they're saying it's a political thing. I, I you know, and uh, I, I, I Possibly, but me, what I'm doing, my research and looking at it is really, it's, 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 it's bananas, you know, um, so I just wanted to update people on that. If, if you're not known, look into it, you know, um, cause you know, a lot of our news here in the country, in the United States, we, we, we don't, you know, we don't, we, 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 we see as little as they want to show us here, you know, um, sometimes, a lot of times, you got to, uh, many times when things are going on on other part of the world, you have to tap into that uh, market, you know. So if something's going on in, 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 uh, on, on the continent, uh, like in Africa, you have to go tap in and, and, and to their publications and find out really you'll get more in depth. You'll get more insight on what's going on um, in the history of whatever challenges uh those countries continents are facing so um yeah i just wanted to tap in with that because i found it you know um i was just like wow you know um it's to you, you want to have co zero covid cases with that many people that's like kind of like it's impossible it's it's, it's not it's, it's not doable so um yeah and that will you know prolong our inflation in the U.S. as well. You know, um, this will, so if, if the truckers can't get nothing out, then you, you, you're going to see, you may see more, more businesses and you may see more smaller businesses hurting in the end and might have to shut down because they may depend on a lot of, uh, product coming in from, you know, uh, different parts of Asia. And, um, so yeah, that, I just wanted to tap in with that, ladies and gentlemen, because like I said, I, I speak about here at Space Invaders, I like to speak about topics that, you know, not only just locally, nationally, but globally, you know, um, and like I always say, I may not be able to get every topic, you know, um, being that a lot of times I like to drop once a week, many times you get, you get uh, content from me twice a week. You know, um, like this week, you, you, you'll get content from me twice this week, you know, um, and I'll be talking about some local government stuff um, in the state where I reside in North Carolina. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to tap in and let you guys, you know, understand that for those who are really into the current events um, to tap into that, because <clears throat> you may wonder or if you're wondering and thinking like, oh, when, when, when is this inflation and when is this going to be up? And, you know, when we're going to see, you know, this stuff affects 
it will affect it will continue to affect all 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 levels you know uh far as food um you know it's just gonna affect everything you know the economy period globally is gonna be you know hurting you know for a while and they're saying that you know this summer can be it's gonna be challenging this summer you know what i mean if um you know because you gotta figure like you got um you got certain countries, you know, uh, well, I mean, the Asia, uh, you have, like, certain cities, they're having cases where they have, like, 300,000 cases, you know, and reporting, like, 300,000 cases and 100, almost too shy of a 200, 200 deaths. And you say, like, wow, 300,000 cases. Yeah, when you're dealing with a population of 30 million, 37 million. 27 million, 20 million, 16 million. Yeah, you're going to have, you got you got folks on top of each other, you know. Um, and you just think about even our cities that, uh, the, our cities that are, are heavy populated in the U.S., you know, like a New York, um, like a California, you know, different uh, cities in California and things of that nature. And just in the tri-state area alone, in the United States, which is New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Philly, Boston, you know what I'm saying? Um, those, uh, a lot a lot of residents there are really like, you know, are stacked. There's so many residents. That's why, you know, in, uh, in those places, you see so many buildings, you know? Um, you see so many buildings, and then when you go to the southeast, of the United States, you you don't see many people living in large, tall buildings. They're more level, one level homes or things of that nature. You know, um, and and that's two two story homes in in the southeast. But I'm just saying more. You you'll see more of you know you you you'll see less of those a lot less of those tall buildings where people are residing. You 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 really won't see them. And if you do see them in the southeast, it's more of a luxury type of uh, living versus, you know, um, being in the northeast of the United States. And even uh, and even other places, I could say, like Ohio and things of that nature, the Midwest states like Ohio and things of that nature, you may uh, um, see... Uh, 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 Tall, uh, taller buildings, what we would call projects and things of that nature. And there's not not to take away. There's luxury uh, buildings as well in the tri-state area, but you will see uh, more. Uh, what do we want to say? Lower income because there's so many people, and we we have a lot of people in our uh, larger cities and areas. So that helps us out, you know. You know, for those who, and I say us, because I I come from the the north, so I I know. Um, but yeah, so when you got that, when you have that many cases, like those many residents, like they have in those cities, you know, around Asia, yeah, your cases are gonna gonna be high. So, uh, you know, my heart goes out to them because I was hearing stories of like kids being separated from their from their parents so you say if a kid winds up there having covid they're getting snatched away from their parents if the you know uh the adults having covid they're getting dragged out their homes you you can imagine it's like apoth apocalyptic like i'm looking at video and i'm hearing like you you seeing the drones flying around there's people there's um Law enforcement in Asia, you know, like 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 in Shanghai and Beijing, where they're walking around on uh, on, 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 on on the microphones, just uh, the megaphones, and telling people not to come out, stay in the house, uh, or, or, or calm down if people are yelling, and so you can imagine, you know, um, people are feeling in prison in their in their homes because they can't come out. You know, um, and that they, they, they and you can't even open your window. They're telling, they're telling, they're telling the residents not even to open their windows. 
So it's 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 serious, you know. So I just wanted to drop that on everyone and let you, you know, like to tap into that and pay attention, you know, because you'll understand those situations will help you understand what goes on here because when the United States do and does business with other countries, you know, it, it, and something goes on in those countries, it would affect us. And then on top of that, we are already feeling, you know, feeling the effects between Russia and Ukraine, you know, so th that doesn't, that doesn't make it easy for the, for, 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 for us as well. So I just wanted to tap in and, and, and drop that on you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and, um, yeah, make sure y'all share this around, leave comments or whatever, um. And stay tuned. I uh, got another topic I'll be speaking on uh, in another day or two. So that's my time, folks. This is Space Invaders TV, and I'm Rashawn. I'm out.